Hey, this is Jim with Jimmy Riggs. Today I wanna to talk to you about how you can make a living doing music in a non-music city. We're gonna talk about the pros and the cons and I'm gonna give you three tips on what you can do today to start making money as a musician. Here you go, look at that. Hey, this is Jim with Jimmy Riggs. Thanks for checking out the video. Today we're gonna to talk about what you can do as a musician living in a non-music city to earn a living. You know, maybe you're someone like me where you have a day job, you have a family that depends on you, you have clients, you have deadlines, all the above. But you don't live in a city like New York, Los Angeles, or Nashville. What can you do in situations like that? Well, let's talk about the pros and cons first and then we'll get into the tips. So what are the pros? Number one, less competition. Being in a non-music city can really afford you the chance to stand out in your field. Being in a non-music city can mean that you might be the best guitarist, the best piano player, the best vocalist, the best drummer, you name it. Not having nearly as much competition as a major industry city like Nashville or LA or New York can mean that you will likely be the person that they would want to hire if given the chance. Number two, local loyalty. Most people want to support their small business, their small local business, especially in the niche world of art and entertainment. I mean, think about all of the parties you can perform at. Restaurants who want your music, entertainment, for their dining guests on a Friday or Saturday night. Wine bars, clubs, you name it. Plus, every city has at least a broadcast station, music studio, other type of production facilities. And if you're local and you're good and you've provided your value and your name out there, it's a win-win. You know, I think of a friend of mine who prior to COVID, he would perform at yoga studios doing background music while they're doing their thing. It worked for him and it can work for you too. Number three, entertainment and art is universal. In any city of the world, in any country, in any state, people want to be entertained. And that is your ticket to success, right there. Find your niche, find the yoga studio that wants to have background music and you can fill that void. Find the wine bar that needs entertainment on whatever night, fill that void. Do what you can, go out, meet your community, meet all your mom and pop shops, meet your local vendors for uh, bands that perform at, um, various venues and whatnot. Go out there, meet your people. Everyone has a desire to be entertained. Everyone has a desire to unwind and you could fill that void. So what are the cons? Number one, less big city energy. Most of us have traveled to a city like New York or LA or Miami and the feeling you have there is ecstatic. There's, there's energy, people are driving people are driven to succeed and grow it's where the top go to make their make their claim but with big city energy comes its fair share of big city struggles you know bigger cities can be a lot more expensive than smaller cities as mentioned before there can be a lot more fierce competition to make your stake and make your claim as the best in the area so the entry point into the bigger cities can be a lot more difficult than if you stay where you're at and you build up your brand. Number two, less big city access. That might mean that you're not able to try out the pedal that you need, the preamp, the drum set, keyboard, whatever it is. Or maybe you have a fly date to Nashville or Seattle. If you can't get where you need to go or get what you need, it can be difficult. Number three, you might be the lone wolf for a period of time. And that can be especially difficult if you're one who's looking to collaborate or partner with others. Or, you know, if you're in an alone period of time, it can be difficult to kind of bolster creativity or inspiration. It can be difficult, but it's not impossible. So what are the tips? Number one, 
network. Get to know your local community. Go to other creative events like open mic nights, art showings, uh, other fellow artists' performances, whatever. Uh, get to know your local music store staff. Get to know your local venue staff. Get to know the uh, restaurant owners, bar owners, etc. The thing is, if people don't know who you are, they're never going to hire you. Join Facebook groups. Um, post online. Do, do as much as you can. Online forums. Whatever you can to bolster your your network in your area is going to be a huge advantage to you building up your business as a musician. Number two, just ask. There's an old saying that goes, you don't have because you don't ask. So put yourself out there. Talk to other artists about collaborating. Reach out to local studios or producers or whatnot about being a part of sessions. Talk to your local music store about giving lessons. It never hurts to ask, so just do it. Number three, build your online presence. You might already be doing this, but if you haven't, start a Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channel and put out content. I know with COVID going on right now, many cities are still having restrictions with group gatherings. And so having all these channels and multiple mediums for people to find you will give your clients and your future clients many easy access points to get to your content. Also, you might find that working online and collaborating online is one of the easiest and most natural ways to work together. Hey, if you're liking this video and you wanna see more content like this, smash that like button and uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Also, go ahead and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date.